ambition um, for me in my life that means sticking to your passions even if uh, other people don't feel like that should be your path I think because um, I had massive dreams when I was younger but now I'm living them because I stuck with my authentic self and what I really wanted um, and who I wanted to be. I, I've definitely had to had a struggle with my family um, accepting what I wanted to do with my life um, and there was times where I did stray off the path because I thought that they were right but in the end my passions always brought me back to what I wanted to do and wanted to be the person I wanted to be and the person who I am now so um, yeah an ambition was being true to myself yeah to what I wanted to strive for. And does having had that experience of struggling and then coming back to what matters to you help you when you're working with Very the young people so. here? Very right. much so. Sometimes I can see that struggle in, the, in their eyes. Yeah. You know, when other people are expecting certain things of them, but they, they know that's not what burns inside of them. Right. Yeah. So when I'm talking to the kids, it comes from a place of uh, everybody is different. So, you know, what they think that they want to be able to achieve is, is different to everybody else, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's wrong. Um, yeah. And do you, like, how do you help a child who's Fano isn't keen on what the, ch on who the child is? And do you, do you help them? Well, basically, before we even can get to that point, we have to build that relationship. Right. So it's um, just being honest with them. Yeah, yeah. And um, being honest with them and what I'm seeing within the kid, but also um, just being true to the child and having those conversations with them. Mm -hmm. Making sure that um, we're on the same wavelength, you know, power phrasing them to see whether or not we're understanding what, what they're talking about or where they want to go. And then even them talking about the struggles they have at home when they're talking to people that they love and um, that don't necessarily agree with what they want to do or who they want to be. Mm -hmm. The further I got away from what I believed I wanted to be or where I wanted to be, the worse things got for me. Right. Because it wasn't something that from on the inside of me was what I was Just feels wrong. Just feels wrong. It just, feels wrong. It just everything went wrong. Yeah, yeah. Be I'm not sure why, but yeah, I've, I've been in a few um, avenues have been off in a few directions but what I love about it is it gave me a lot of life experience mm -hmm. and before I even got into working with children um, I, I had a lot of knowledge to be able to give back but in saying that that only comes out if it's asked for mm -hmm. you know because mm -hmm. we have a lot of adults that are just telling kids what to do instead of asking them asking questions it's it's really important to me that we see from their perspective what's going on um, and then in that way, they start talking about the real stuff, mm. the real stuff that's happening for them and maybe what's preventing them from achieving what they want to. Mm. If I asked you to describe the most ambitious person you know, what would you say? First person would be my mum. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, from what I can remember, she was always just my stay-at-home mother and then when my father went to prison she had to step up so she was 35 when she started doing that so um, she had this big hairy audacious goal and she went for it and now she's been social working for uh, over 10 years and and she still continues to do that um, but she's always aspiring to to do better um, surround herself by amazing people and just doing a lot for the communities. She just showed me that it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter what position you're in, if you want to do something, you can. You just have to really apply yourself, focus, plan, and, and move. Keep moving, um, no matter what that looks like. Um, eventually you'll get to where you want to be if you just keep focused, stay on that track and put in one foot ahead of the other. I'm 34 years old now, um, and I've only just really, in the last four years, gained my voice. 
because there was that, oh, I'm too shy, I don't want them to know. And uh, in the last year, I've been doing a lot of things, ticking off my bucket list from 15 years ago. And the opportunities are flowing in from everywhere to make those things happen. And it wasn't until I accepted the fact that, hey, most, some people won't like what I want to do, but that's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And I'm enjoying it, I love it, and it's helping other people be able to do what they want to do as well.